Hey all, welcome back to my dungeon. And with the Litecoin having this year, I'm sure the name Charlie Lee will be thrown around a lot. Ow, Charlie! But did you know he had a brother? Well, his brother Bobby Lee is also a crypto head, and he has his own venture, the Ballet Wallet. All right, so uh, we have a 24 karat uh, covered wallet here, which is pretty cool. You can order this on their website if you are the fancy type. Then we have the uh, real um, Bitcoin wallet here, um, which is just their standard Bitcoin wallet. We also have an Ethereum one. Um, this one, obviously, because it's Ethereum, based you could probably put your nfts on this um and other uh tokens that are ethereum focused and we have the pure wallet which um comes preloaded with bitcoin that you can um, buy and send to either yourself or to friends family as a gift and a little thank you from ballet now if you look at the packaging here it's pretty slick i like it simple straightforward but right now let's hop into a little bit more about the founder of ballet bobby lee founded china's first cryptocurrency exchange btcc in june 2011 and that is four months before his brother's genesis block of litecoin Lee is a smart cookie too, and received both his bachelor and master's degree in computer science from Stanford University, and started his career in tech as a software engineer at Yahoo. Just eight years later in 2019, he decided to hop into the cold storage solution market. Before I get into the technicals and bore you, there's some things about Ballet and the Ballet card that I actually enjoy. One, the company is US based, so they must adhere to US laws and regulations. Also, if you're familiar with other card based wallets, you'll find this card just as easy to use. Additionally, this has no electronic components, eliminating another point of failure. Because of this, it makes the wallet a simple gift for those who are a little bit tech impaired. All you need to do is send a little coin and maybe a frog NFT to your technologically impaired friend. Who you calling Pinhead? And if your friend wants to get rid of the gift they gave you and prematurely sell off their coin, Ballet has an app for that. Let's quickly add our card to our app. And it's extremely fast. It identifies um, the address, showing how much our balance is. We can send it if we need to. Also, um, there's an exchange on this app as well, but you need to verify your identity. Create an account here as well. And um, also, additionally, if you don't live in the United States, you can change your currency here um, to one that's suitable for you, or you can just set it to Bitcoin. And yeah, it's a pretty straightforward app, super easy to use. We've been having a lot of fun talking about the capabilities of this wallet, but what's most important to me is the security. The physical wallet utilizes BIP38. BIP38's sole existence, and I quote, stems from observations of the way physical bitcoins and paper wallets are used. And BIP38 solves this by permitting a shared private key generation scheme where the party generating the final key string and its associated bitcoin address, such as a physical bitcoin manufacturer, knows only a string derived from their original passphrase, and where their original passphrase is needed in order to actually redeem funds sent to the associated Bitcoin address. If you need to watch that 10 times over, go ahead, or you can look at the official BIP38 proposal in the description below. Now what this means is that the private key and passphrase can be created in separate locations. Now the private key is created in China, and then a tamper evident sticker is put on top of that. And then the wallet is then sent over to the United States in which a passphrase is then etched to the bottom of the card. And then another layer of tamper evident film is put on top of that before it gets to you. Now I've mentioned private key a lot here and that's probably scaring people away, but the private key required to send your coin has yet to be revealed. 
This is where the true BIP38 magic is made and the passphrase and private key are combined by you to reveal the private key required to send your coin. Now, how can you mitigate this risk that appears in all cold storage wallets? Just like you do in your investments, diversify. Include the Ballet Real or Pure wallet in your arsenal and then distribute your coin amongst multiple solutions. Basically, don't put all your eggs in one basket.